Howdy guys, I'm back with more of The Witcher. Last time I finished up the prologue and the Witchers of Kaer Morhen all decided to go their own way. And then chapter one began with uh, Geralt here in the outskirts of Vizima. So uh, this is the first time I've been out in the open world, so I feel like I'm going to be doing a lot of exploration. Oh yeah, I need to go speak with this reverend fellow, and he's way over there, and I'm way over here. There's a lot of stuff for me to run into. Alright, so let's uh, take a look around. Could I leave if I wanted to? Uh, it's locked. They don't trust me with running around outside just yet. Fair enough. I mean, you can you can see the poor girl that got uh, slaughtered right right out there. All right. Well, let's talk to some people. A mercy. We await help from the Order of the Flaming Rose. Ah. Okay. So, do they say multiple? We things? await help from the Order of the Flaming Rose. Okay. So they just say uh, the same thing. Vizima's gates are closed. No real reason to talk to people multiple times then. Monsters abound in the crypt. Ah, so the crypt. I saw that on my map. I wonder if I'm going to end up going there at some point. Can I light this? Oh, I can. I don't know if I... Oh, well, I don't know if I should have done that or not. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if I... Yeah, really not sure if I should have did that, like, uh, did that use one of my flint uh, things or... Or what? Um, well, fair enough. I guess I could use this time to uh, level up. Oh boy, I'm still not really sure what I'm doing here with um, with uh, with these talents, though. So I still feel like maybe it's better to put points in this stuff here. Vitality regen one per second. That sounds pretty good. Unlocks power up during fist fights. Am I going to be getting into a lot of those? Um, I also think maybe I should spread uh, my abilities out a little bit too. Um, that's not bad. M attack and dodge. Ooh, Geralt gains the ability to deflect arrows. That sounds pretty nice. Um, hmm. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure if I really want to do any of this. Oh, herbalism. Enables identification and gathering of herbs. Ooh. Ooh. Provides knowledge about selected, not yet encountered monsters. You know, this stuff might actually be pretty good. You guys were telling me that books are pretty important and, right, knowledge is power. I was going to kind of ignore some of the intelligence stuff because, honestly, this all uh, overwhelms me a little bit. So, but, but this stuff down here sounds very, very useful. I feel Feel like I should maybe get it. Hmm. Enables Geralt to draw from places of power. I don't know about drawing from places of power. Um. Ah, jeez. You know, I feel like this is just this is just nice stuff to have. Honestly, right here, you can't go wrong with uh, with stuff like that. I mean, only when he's in. Yeah, I don't know about the the stuff that only works when I need a condition. I'll wait on the conditional type of stuff. Uh, do I? Ah, there we go. I'll get a point in that. Unlocks the ability to acquire ingredients from monsters. Enhance flaying by acquiring the anatomy skill. Um, ooh, predator. Only active from midnight until dawn. Oh, requires consumption. Yeah, okay. I think, and it's a story ability, I feel like I should get the... Oh, can I... Oh, is it, do I, I guess I already have it then, huh? I guess, yeah, I guess blue means I already have it. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, um, should I deflect arrows? I don't know how useful that will be. Ah, oh, gosh, I know, I'm sorry, I'm taking so long to pick abilities. <laughs> Duration of, uh, um, and let's go with that, let's go with that. Poison resistance, endurance regeneration. Oh, yeah, I think that'll be nice. I don't know if that's very good or not, but let's, uh, let's go with that. Um, I think I'd like to, I think I'd like to rest until dawn. It'd be nice to see what this place looks like during the day. I don't know if that messes up anything or not, but, uh, let's see how it goes. I don't like wandering around at night. It's hard to see. <laughs> All right. Okay, there we go. No one cleaned up the bodies or anything. It's still a mess out here. And it looks really depressing. Kinda be alert. Rainy. 
Hey, they uh, moved around. No one was on this box, and now someone is. Monsters abound in the crypt. Okay, and he says the same thing. We await help from the okay, Order of the right. Flaming they, they Rose. Just, they, they just say the same stuff. All right, now I can properly look around, so... This isn't considered stealing or anything, is it? All right, no, it's not like um, a Bethesda game or anything where this belongs to someone else, I take it? Oh. Hmm, a notice board. Maybe I can find some witch's work. Oh, these must be side quests. Left click on the notice board and drag any available notices to your inventory. Oh, quests that take up inventory space. The only way it could be worse is if they were escort quests. Right click on the notice icon to read and unlock new quests. Look for other notice boards to unlock additional quests. So, I'm guessing these are probably like uh, oh, all the rain. uh city specific or region specific maybe. Oh, what's this one? An arrest warrant. And a warrant a warrant for the professor's arrest. So double click or drag. Okay, so double click. Oh, okay, it goes up here. A quest item. Alright, the ghoul contract begins a oh, but these go go do go into my inventory. Okay, I'm gonna have some inventory issues. Um, maybe I'll get a house or something, I don't know. The Drowner contract and the Bar Guest count contract. I assume I probably just want to grab all of these at the same time. Alright. Some oh. rain. Okay, so do I right click on them now? The ghoul contract. I need the blood of at least three ghouls. Will pay handsomely. Kalkstein Alchemist. The ghoul entry in the bestiary is required to complete this contract, so I have to find information on a ghoul before I can even do that. Can I not? It's a, it's a quest item. It seems like it should go up here, but whatever. Alright, the Drowner. The Church of the Eternal Fire seeks individuals capable of dealing with the Drowners at the riverbank. Payment is contingent on supplying proof of killing three of the beasts. Bring their brains. Ugh. Inquire with the Reverend, which I have to speak to him anyway, so good. The Drowner entry is required. Okay, okay, okay. I'm kind of seeing how this is working. Oh! Okay. And then the Barghest contract, brave men urgently needed. Whoever brings me ten Barghest skulls will receive a hundred orans. Abigail Herbalist. Alright, alright, that's easy enough. Alright, so did my journal... Oh, okay, so they just, um... They get auto-added into here, too, so I don't have to try to keep track of where all my quests are. That's good. Alright, alright. Um, okay, so I only ha still have that... Thing in my bestiary thing, so... Alright, should I go on oh, rain. in here and talk? What do you want? <laughs> Always give strangers such a warm welcome. It's all the same. The beast will have us all. I'm glad we talked. <laughs> Let's celebrate. Farewell. <laughs> I love how mechanical these, uh... Some rain these older games are as far as the interactions go. It's just kind of funny. They look like little Chuck E. Cheese animatronics or something. It's just, it's so funny. Oh, inns and taverns. To meditate at an inns. An inns? Like, I feel like they should have put to meditate at inns because it sounds, to meditate in inns. Alright, whatever. Talk to the innkeeper and left click meditation. You can also leave items in a tavern storage. Oh! Speak with the innkeeper and left click on the storage icon. Recover your stored items at any time from any inner tavern. Awesome! That's exactly what I need. I'm probably going to have to do that. Alright, I don't actually even know. Oh! Did I hear? I hear punching, but I don't see it. Am I? Is it out? What? Is it over here? I'm into it somewhere. What's going on? Oh, there is fighting. No challengers. What's going you on? You fight Your like a mother, sax dwarf <gasps> cock. Oh my god. No challengers. Stand still. That's so vulgar. Can I participate in this? Do I get drunk and go brawling? <laughs> what is this? Want to fight? 
Got any money? Fight club? There's a fight club? Show me what you got. Oh gosh, I I feel like they're gonna beat me up and take my lunch money. I'm not sure if I'm ready for fist fighting. I, I kind of want to try it. Sure. Oh, you can bet. I don't want to bet anything. I just want to have no fun. No way, not me. Oh, he won't. Uh, he won't. He's wimpy though. Oh, oh, I'm. Oh, I see. So each one is probably like this. This guy is gonna be the toughest. No challenge. Oh, I can probably ch I guess I have to work my way up to him. Like, I probably... It starts out with this wimpy old beat-up guy, and then this fat Fred, the little chubby guy, and they get stronger and stronger until you got the challenger over here. Alright, so can I challenge you? Whoa! Some tournament going on? We beat each other for coin! <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Fat Fred will rearrange your face, just show me your gold. How much? Twenty-five orans. Ah, uh, no, thank you. Oh, oh, tell me about, yeah, here, tell me about this. Tell me about this tournament. Rules are simple. Punch each other in the <laughs> face, last man standing wins. Okay. Simple and specific. Twenty-five orans. Uh, I don't have twenty-five orans. I don't have twenty-five orans. <laughs> I, um... Uh... I don't know about, I don't know about this. Uh, goats, maybe yeah, I'll go ahead and just take all that, sure. I guess I'll have to go through my inventory soon enough to transfer some things out. I'm going to have a hard time figuring out, figuring out what I should meet, uh, keep, though. Want a beating, stranger? We fight for money. Um, farewell. No. Farewell. Okay, maybe, I'm, I'm still thinking they all get, uh... I'm itching to it somewhere. Oh, okay, see. No challengers? Oh, okay. What a so beating, stranger. Hmm. We fight for money. Some of them I can fight and some of them not. He's got a very interesting tattoo on his torso Farewell. here. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go fight the wimpy guy because I don't feel very confident. Want to fight? Got any money? Sure, let's go. I'll, I'll do five. All right, let's see. No pain, no gain. So I guess I can't we'll use... See my weapons I all right a yellow base indicates characters you can fist fight oh my gosh okay so this is actually like a mechanic of the game maybe I should have uh, put some talents and fist fighting all right uh, left click to attack them right click to hold and hold to block your opponent oh no I'm terrible at this kind of stuff it's only two buttons Rurumiki how can you be terrible we'll just see I'm, I'm, am I okay? Am I blocking? Okay, <laughs> he's got. Okay, oh, oh, I, I, I think I. Hit me, I, chicky. <laughs> I, <laughs> what is this Mortal Kombat? Finish him. <laughs> uh, what's he's just? Am I done? Okay. Oh, he's just showing off. <laughs> Lost again. Should have known. Here's your gold. Okay, well that's uh, probably a fun way to make some money. Can I challenge him again? Oh, ouch, enough! Oh, okay, maybe I can only fight each person once, or maybe like once a day, because see his health is, is low, maybe he needs to rest. Maybe I can challenge him again some other day. Alright, well I'm going to leave that here for now. That seems like fun I can have on my own time. Alright, Shawnee is, oh, smash your face. is having... Stand still. Oh gosh, these guys are so distracting over here. Look at your this guy. Sucks dwarf cock. Oh my gosh, they're so vulgar. Hurry. Okay, so what, how are you guys doing? You saved me, right? Yes. I helped. I wonder what will happen to me now. Waiting for your kin to come? No. My family has passed on. Sorry, kid. It's all right. I barely knew them. Wow. Poor kid. That's all right. <laughs> He's got a really rough no, life, doesn't that's he? That's a great I'm sword. Aw, oh, thanks. All right, how you doing, beautiful? Uh, did you want to ask me something? Uh, let's... Oh, okay, she just has the same dialogue I got from when I met her before. Bummer. We'll speak later. I guess I've got to advance, um... Quests before she'll have anything to do with me. All right, so she's got green over her head. I feel like she's important. Greetings, handsome. You look tinged fatigued. Wait, didn't you rescue that child at the gate? By chance. By chance? Really? If only the local peasants chance to do good once in a while. Oh, no matter. What can I get you? 
All right, um, beer. Nothing now, but care to sit down with me for a moment? Nothing now, I'll see you later. Show me your wares. Ooh, show me your wares. Oh, okay, so I can just buy food and stuff if I want. All right, no, I'm, I'm good on that. All right, let me talk to her again. What can I get you? All right, well, nothing. You want to sit with me? <laughs> nothing now, but care to sit down with me for a moment? Not likely. I'm a decent girl. I'm at work now. Oh, don't be angry. Only a blind man could ignore you. <laughs> I don't know. As far as, I mean, she's obviously attractive. I mean, you know, especially, uh, well, um, she's got a very nice rack. But, um, you know, as far as witcher girls go, she's kind of average. I'd rather get with Shawnee over there. Tri okay. Uh, you mean to say you stop being decent after work? <laughs> In that case, I'll have a beer. All right, let's go with this. You mean to say you stop being decent after work? Insert a little eyebrow wiggle here. You mean to say you stop being decent after work? How dare you? <laughs> what a bore. <laughs> Aw, bummer. I guess, uh... I guess some ladies can resist Geralt's charm. So does she have a... Oh, she does. Ves Vesna. A barmaid from the tavern in the outskirts. Vesna is quite a determined girl. She sells food and alcohol. <laughs> Alright, well... I, get, I feel like she's oh, got to be, be somewhat important if they made a That's log entry stinks. on her. Alright, so can... Do you guys just have some banter, or...? I'm forced to sell my goods out here! Uh, bad luck, I can't enter the city either, see you, show me your wares. Oh, oh, he's got lots and lots of books. Okay, okay, you've already read this. Oh, this is cool. Alright, so I guess I'm not really going to be able to afford any of these. I have 45 monies. Alright, against non-humans? Alchemy? Oh, man, this is all... Oh man, it's a bummer. I can't, um... Oh, here we go. I need this one. Oh, it's super expensive. It provides information on ghouls and graveyards. Oh, it's super duper expensive, at least for me right now. And the drowner. See, I need, I need these, um, these book entries for some of those quests I just got, but I'm guessing I'll, I guess I'm going to be hanging out in this area for a while because all these books are really expensive. I don't know if I can, um, oh, there, I have some things I need to read in my, I haven't looked in my inventory in a while. Um, you've already read this, so should I, should I sell it? It sells for ten, but I've already read it, so I assume I don't need it anymore? Are you sure you want to sell the item? Yeah, I think I am. Alright, so I can afford, I can't afford to buy like one book, but um, I, I don't know, I feel like I should hang on to my money before I'm done, uh, until I'm done looking around town. Maybe uh, more of these antiquary guys will be around. Okay, so contains the formula for a potion made using the Eye of Frightener, so the notes containing the formula, so do I... Oh, okay, I didn't, uh, okay, okay, so then I'll read this one. The Book of the Swallow, and that now I guess I can make a uh, blizzard, okay. Oh, I can make a few things now. I've got a few new journal entries. Okay, I've got some valuables, so, um... Oh, I forgot about this. I should probably use that. Um, gosh. Alright, so can I just, um... I'm forced to sell my goods out here! Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm so sorry. Um, so can I sell... Should I sell these? I, you've already read this, I assume. I should, uh... I, oh, I guess I could have read it there. Um, I guess double-click to sell. Yeah, I guess I can sell this if I've already read it, right? No reason to hang on to it. Oh, okay, I can't just, uh, he's not interested. So he's, he's only gonna buy things that he wants, so he's interested in books. So, I've got 105 monies now. Um, can't really afford, because the ones that I really want were down he here, so I think I should save my money. Well, this is cool. All right, let's talk to the traveler. No, no missions for you. What? No missions? All right, maybe he gets... Ah, terrible what? times. I don't know. Gambler. You don't look like one to be lucky at love, but I wager your luck excels at dice. 
I know a bit about the game. Sir, I wouldn't cheat you. An honest game's what I propose. Honest? Why choose me? No one else is willing to sit down with you. Risk is your daily bread, that's clear. I'd consider it an honor to play you. My pouch is as empty as a smith's bellows. <laughs> the peasants round here have nothing but cabbage to wager. A hunter, a worthy opponent, used to fancy a game. But I haven't seen him in a while. I'm not surprised. I don't doubt you fleeced him. To be frank, he loved high stakes. Yet the dice disliked him from the outset. Oh, I see. I see. All right, who is this hunter you played? Can you make a good living at dice? Uh -huh. Even if... I don't know, I might be wrong, but I don't feel like you could actually make a good living on dice unless you are, you know, maybe... I don't want to say cheating, but maybe you're manipulating something to your... Fa okay, cheating. Because it just seems like, I don't know, leaving your livelihood up to chance just seems foolhardy to me. Well, who is the hunter you played? Who is this hunter you played? Must have been quite a lover, for I've never seen such ill luck on a man. He lost a lot of orans. Watch out. Love wanes. He'll be back for his gold. I think not, sir. You could smell the loser in him a mile off. The debts must be keeping him away. Hmm. Maybe that's a little side mission or something. I thought it would give me a quest. All right, so can you make a good living at dice? Can you make a good living at dice? That depends entirely on who one plays, sir. The wages are certainly larger in Vizima. And where in Vizima would I find someone willing to play? If your money pouch is bursting, try the new Narakort. You might also choose the Hairy Bear, if you have the nerve. Hairy Bear? Alright, well, farewell. Farewell. Okay, I guess, uh, I guess there's gambling to partake in later on. I thought that the no people to rush. with blue names would just have a little bit of banter above their heads, but they actually, uh, Everything have, was better before the Nilfgaard war. Have, they actually have things to say sometimes. Well, that whoring witch has her eye on me. Wow. No bold men. Abigail sells an ointment for boils. <laughs> for boils. Abigail sells an ointment for boils. All right, everyone's got boils. Lovely. Plain robbery. They should arrest those officers. Ah, crap. Abigail sells an ointment. Plain robbery. Oh, okay, okay. They should arrest A those officers. plague stopped our transport outside Vizima. Oh, that must be that cat pony or... Damn squirrels. Assaulting convoys like during the war. Hmm, squirrels must be some kind of bandits, maybe? Well, that hoarding witch has it. I own me. Times. All right, um... Abigail sells an okay, ointment for... Abigail oils. Have a drink with me. Oh, you look just like the other drunk. Let's have a drink. Um, oh, participate. Oh my gosh, drinking contest. There's so much to do in this game. Gosh, I haven't even made it outside the tavern. <laughs> participate in drinking contests to gain information and rewards. Left click drink and dialogues to choose a beverage. Tip characters often have drink preferences and may refuse anything but their favorite beverage. Out drink your opponent, but take care not to pass out. Oh gosh. I think Geralt's going to be a lightweight, so we both have these loggers. Oh gosh, I have a bunch of booze here. Um, I guess, I guess let's just have, uh, do I, uh, do I just hand that to him? Uh, oh, do we just keep going? Alright, again? Just play stinks. Uh-oh, I'm going to run out of alcohol really, really fast. Alright, this one? Uh-oh, uh-oh, the screen's getting a little blurry. Uh-oh, oh no, oh no, this is bad. This is not, oh dear, it's getting, I'm seeing doubles. Oh no, I hate being drunk in video games. Alright, I think this is the last of my booze, so I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm gonna fall over, aren't I? <laughs> oh no, oh no. <laughs> so, out drank you. <laughs> Strong head you have there. Don't I get a prize for winning? Drank with a merchant recently. Weak-headed he was. Take his book. Thanks. <laughs> what? Take his... Receive the Tome of Fear and Loathing, Volume 1. Is that the one that I wanted? <gasps> oh, it is! 
it is the one I wanted. The Tome of Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Um, first volume on a work of necrophages. It provides information on ghouls and graviers. That's the one I needed for um, for one of uh, one of the. Oh gosh, I don't even know which one it is anymore. All right, well. Uh, Drunk, not a uh, drunk reading, sure. The Tome of Fear and Loathing. The bestiary describes necrophages, the ghoul and the gravier. It provides information on frightening methods and alchemical ingredients that can be obtained from the bodies of these monsters. Ooh, that's great. Awesome. All right, so do I need to, um... Okay, so was it this one? The ghoul entry in the B series required to complete this contract. Perfect, I have it now. Oh my gosh, this is wonderful. I'm so, like, through drunkenness is knowledge? I don't know, my journal is going insane here. Alright, so I don't think you guys are going to be interested in me just, like, reading all of the ingredient ones, because I think a lot of them are pretty obvious, so I won't read those, but I will look at the more interesting things like this. Ah, so that's a gravier. Okay, they appear wherever they can find food, preferably human corpses, but any corpse will do. Ooh, so they're like corpse eaters. Immune to common poisons and resistant to knockdown attempts, so that uh, sign I have won't work. Tough skin and thick muscles protect them from blows. Sensitive to silver and necrophage oil. The strong style is most effective, so I'll have to use a wolf stance when I see them, and I'm gonna have to remember to get a silver weapon somewhere. Graviers try to knock their victims down and eat them alive. Ugh, that explains the puckered looking weird face. I think we all know what their face looks like. I'm not gonna say it, or their mouth, but I'm not gonna say it. Alright, I, I guess that's the stuff I can get off their bodies. After the war with Nilfgaard, which uh, I think one of the people out here were talking about that, Graviers became a real plague. Until then, the monsters were familiar only to specialists and professional beast killers. Thus, everyone mistook them for ghouls. Oh. Today, any child could give an accurate description of a gravier, and people who have passed near battlefields or necropolises offer first hound accounts of the horrible murders committed by these ruthless necrophages. Holy moly, I don't want to run into one of those anytime soon. Oh, okay, so that's a ghoul, and that's a... Okay, a ghoul, when I was thinking of a ghoul, I thought it would be more of a skeleton monster. I wasn't... Exp it looks kind of more like a like an imp, almost. Alright, so they do look very, very similar, but you've got to see that the mouth is different. The gravier's got the um, you-know-what-looking mouth, and... Um, they, they got more red in their eyes, their bodies look a bit thicker, maybe they're a bit bigger. Alright, the ghoul. The ghouls are encountered on battlefields, as well as cemeteries and abandoned crypts, oh boy. Uh, resistant to common poison, sensitive to silver and necrophage oil, same as the gravier, strong style. Experienced witchers use group style. Alright, a group of ghouls will... Same thing, try to knock people down and eat them alive. Ghouls are said to have been humans who were once forced into cannibalism and after many years spent in dark crypts, underwent a horrifying transformation. Ooh, is that true? Only human flesh can satisfy their eternal hunger, so they kill people and store the remains and recesses of their lairs. Ooh. All right, so I'm not going to want to go ex ex uh, exploring any crypts I'm going to find, like, rotting legs or something. So I think that they're probably going to be kind of human-sized based on uh, that there. All right, well, that that was it. Oh, man, I'm going to... Oh, look at look at Geralt. He's stumbling. He's, oh, he's really slow, too. Oh, uh, but it was worth it. Just listen. All right, so am I going to sound like... Well, I have new dialogue choices. Am I going to be a bit of a jerk? <laughs> Did you want to ask me something? Yeah, pretty. We'll speak later. <laughs> oh, there's no uh, slurred, drunken speech. Uh, I'm the one that has to deal with the drunk effects of... How, how long does this last, anyway? Ah, oh, jeez. Attack efficiency reduced by 50%. Great.
All right, decline. Come on. Finally, uh, someone sensible here. Uh -huh. And you are? <laughs> Luvarden, merchant. Of those Luvardens. Of those or not, I sense you have a job for me. Unfortunately, my friend disappeared in the cave beneath Vizima's walls. You think he's dead? I don't know. I'll pay you 200 orns to rescue him or provide for a decent burial. Will you take the job? <laughs> I like how he calls me sensible and I'm seeing, you know, like f six, four to six eyes here. Sure. All right. My friend tried evading the quarantine to enter Vizima. Why through the cave? We heard goods were smuggled into Vizima that way. I'll do what I can. Be careful. My friend has dealt with monsters before. If he's dead, surely danger follows. Hmm, I feel like you the friend... Like I, I feel dance. like the friend is Another going day. to be dead just uh, based on what he said there. If he's dead, you know, whatever. Alright, so I need to find his companion. And let's see. I met Declan Louvarden, a rich merton from Nilfgaard at an inn in the outskirts. Louvarden seems a resourceful and wealthy man with extensive contra er, contacts. He lives in the trade quarter of Vizima. During the day, he can be found on the dike eh, from where he runs his business. Alright, alright, so he, I guess maybe he doesn't stick around here, I might have to go find him later after I find his friend. I guess, um, I guess, uh, 200 orins really isn't all that much if that's what I'm getting from my, like, first quest. Do I ever stop being drunk, or do I have to meditate or something? This is horrible. Hmm, three ounces of Optimum Martyr, a drop of Mercury Solution, uh, Oh, sorry. I got lost in thought. Greetings. Greetings. I'm Cogstein, alchemist. Geralt, witcher. A witcher? How much would you ask for an opportunity to examine your body? Uh, I don't think you could afford it. Yeah. You would be doing a great service to science. All right, fine. Though I perceived you as someone who valued reliable knowledge. I respect science and scientists. Alchemists, too. And I guess I expect the same in return. I see. Well, hmm. Maybe you can agree to a post-mortem, then. What? Keep talking and I might change my mind. <laughs> Regarding alchemists, that is. Yeah, really? All right, all right. I'm sorry. But like, my goodness. Like, g gosh, let's, one thing at a time. Like, maybe if you were a beautiful lady, you could examine every inch of me. But, uh, honestly, right now, I can't tell if this guy's part gorilla or if he just has a glorious beard because I'm so friggin' trashed. <laughs> so, do you ask everyone for permission to examine or to dissect them? Do you them? ask everyone for permission to examine or dissect them? Of course not, but you're a mutant, a scientifically wrought improvement, something unnatural. Uh -huh. That explains it. Don't take offense, I'm merely curious. All right, well, you need any help from a witcher? Need any help from a witcher? I do. Check the notice I hung outside. I did, that's why I'm in here. They say you need ghoul blood. They say you need ghoul blood. Do you have any? I'll come back when I've gathered some. Oh. I need that blood for my studies. Be quick about it. Oh, okay. I thought I had to talk to him first. I will not Might Ruvedo right. sure. be better? Let me... I want to talk to him more, though. What brings you here? All right. Uh, you don't look like a local. You don't look like a local? I live in Vizima, but I'm just returning from a great convention of alchemists, pyromancers, and geomancers in Oxenfort. Wonderful city, which uh, a cradle of science. I don't doubt it. Did the convention reach any specific conclusions? It was an incredible experience. I presented my dissertation on... Specific? Conventions aren't meant to be specific. Then I'm not sure I see the sense. Science is like a great river, full of currents, whirls, and treacherous shallows. A single raftsman can never know every secret of the river. He must sail to the harbor and share his knowledge with other raftsmen. And get drunk and spend his last money on whores. I think I see the point now. Oh. Hmm. Science is like a river. Uh, sorry, I got lost in thought. You were talking about returning to Vizima. Ah, uh, yes. 
Because of this quarantine, I'm losing time in this inn. I have extremely important research waiting. And what am I doing sitting in this dump and drinking alcohol? Badly distilled alcohol. I've Ross. sent a message to my friend, another alchemist. He is my only hope. Hopefully he will send me a pass. Hmm. Well, I wish you luck. Thank you. They must admit me. They must. I like this guy. He's pretty interesting. I, I like that, that science is like a river. Who who came up with this um, analogy there? You got some pretty good, uh, pretty interesting writers for for this game, huh? I, I like this guy. He's pretty cool. So I wanted to ask you about alchemy. I wanted to ask you about alchemy. <laughs> Finally, someone worth talking to. Here I thought the locals had no interests beyond their daily concerns. I'm not, I'm not exactly a local. And think about it. If the locals were all interested in alchemy, they wouldn't have much need for you. Good point. Ha! Typically short-sighted. Witcher, alchemy is the mother of all sciences. And do you know why? For it allows us to understand the world. All that surrounds you is none other than the alchemy you strive so dutifully to deride. Alchemical processes transpire in your body at all times. They allow you to eat, breathe, and excrete. What's more, they are responsible for your thoughts and feelings. Alchemy is life. We need to change the subject before the peasants decide to burn us at the stake. Yes, seriously. One cannot shut the mouth of science. But fine, what do you wish to know? Ooh, yeah, this guy is super chatty. All right, uh, how do you obtain alchemical bases? How do you obtain alchemical bases? You need equipment to obtain the correct distillate. Oh my gosh. I myself use an atonator coupled with an alembic and equipped additionally with a rectifying column and a copper cooler. Huh? And if I don't have a coupled atonator handy? I see. Field work. Hmm. Olaf must have some decent vodka or spirit that could serve as an alchemical base. This all sounds so complicated, and it's probably not. All right, so I already know this, but where do I get ingredients? Let me get from monsters and stuff outside. Where do I get ingredients? If you wish to obtain components yourself, you'll need books containing drawings and descriptions of ingredients derived from both plants and animals. Peddlers are your other alternative, but they'll rip you off. <laughs> when I require monster tissue or organs, hmm... Well, I hire a witcher or a hunter. It seems like hiring someone would be even more expensive, but whatever. All right, so I'm interested in formula. I'm interested in formulae. Formula. Ready-made formulae are rare and difficult to acquire, so I encourage you to experiment, Ooh. modify recipes you already have. Most people underestimate the value of using the empirical method in science. Oh. Oh, really? Now, see, I didn't know that. I I can actually change potions up, maybe? I don't know. that, Or, well, I guess not just potions, but the little poisons and bomb things. Oh, well, that's pretty exciting. I'm glad I talked to this guy. He's fun to talk to, too. I think I've heard enough. But we've only just begun. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you're super chatty, though. Farewell. I should be sober after that. Yeah, I, th I, th I think sure, I've yeah, I've definitely sobered up a little bit. That's that's good. I was getting a little worried about this uh, this alcohol because I'm like, does it wear off after time? Like actual alcohol, or am I gonna have to meditate? I was getting a little worried, so I'm glad that I'm sobering up just a bit. All right, let me talk to this innkeeper now. Finally. Oh, I think. <laughs> what do you want? Give me a beer. Your kind's not welcome here. I said I wanted a beer. We have no more. Dot, dot, Very dot. well. I'll see what I have. <laughs> Good man. Everyone drink up. We're closing. Innkeeper, do that again and I'll get angry. Wouldn't want that, would you? Wouldn't like no. Me. All right. I'll just tend to my business and be on my way. What can I do for you? Okay, so that's the, um... The dislike the, of the witchers that I've been told about. I'm a witcher, why the gloom? I'm looking for someone who stayed at this inn, got a room, it's time I was on my way. Okay, I'm gonna hold on before I talk to him. I'd like something stored. Okay, so, oh my, that's quite...
quite a bit of room. Alright, so I've already read that, so I guess I guess I should probably actually sell it back to that dude over there. Um, I don't know, I feel like I'm probably going to need to use... I, I don't know, I feel like I want to get another weapon. I don't know if I, I'll get another one or not. I mean, eh, I should hang on to that. Alright, so that's a valuable. I don't know if I should put it aside. I don't know if I'm going to find a vendor here to sell it to. Uh, I feel like I should probably keep some food on me. Ah, jeez. Left click to separate, double click to draw. Alright, so... Um, I think I'm just going to put most of my food up. I don't feel like I need this much. An unknown potion. Bottled water gives it endurance. I just don't know what's really worth keeping with me. And I feel like I have just so much stuff. I really want to thin it out a little bit. Alright, I guess I should keep the alcohol and the potions. I'm guessing those are the most important things. Um, do these not... These are both swallowed. Do they not... S oh, there we go. That's better. Uh, Bargus Skull. Okay, I need that for a quest, so I'll keep that. I need, like, ten of them. Um, put that up. Yeah, this is all just food and drink. Uh, I really don't know if it's better for me to put it up or... I don't know. Um... I, I think I need to go sell this back to that guy over there. Alright, I, th I think that's alright. That'll work for me. Alright, uh, I'm gonna come talk to this guy in just a second. I just want to do this while it's on my mind because I'll probably forget my it. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. Alright, um... Oh, I feel so naughty. So I was gonna buy it from him too, and I'm just selling it back. Oh, or selling it to him instead. Alright, good money. I didn't realize he had a little bit of dialogue. I'm forced to sell my goods out here. Alright, uh, bad luck. I can't enter the city either. Bad luck. I can't enter the city either. Want to buy something? Rob me in broad daylight! Go ahead! Ooh. What are you peddling? My life! <laughs> oh. Okay. See ya. Yikes. I feel like I should. should. I shouldn't have talked to him at all, man, but I'm glad I did my trading with him before I did. Yeesh. What can I do for you? Alright, so I'm a witcher. I'm a witcher. Bah, by the eternal fire. Have any work for me? No. Ask the Reverend. Okay. I'll speak with him. I was planning what can I do work. for you? Alright, so why the gloom? Why the gloom? I don't talk to strangers. Uh, do you for five orans? For that, I talk to a bar guest all day. Uh, uh, okay, so is that really worth doing? Oh, well, I've got money to spare after my fist fight and my trading, so... Alright, do you want to pay five orans? Sure. The plague was devastating. People died in droves. The wailing lingered for three moons. If not for the Reverend, we'd all have perished. No wonder we're wary of strangers. You don't know what it's like when the plague takes your family. The Reverend prayed all day to the eternal fire, taking no sustenance. His penance freed us from sin and strengthened our faith. We began by cleansing our homes of sin and filth. We gathered it up, and by the next day, all our foulness was buried or gone. Oh boy. The Reverend then spoke to all who remained. You have done well cleansing your households of sin. I know it was difficult, I know they be kin, but the eternal fire sent pestilence on them as punishment for their sins. You are pure, you shall live. And we believed him, then went outside. The frost was biting, but we did our penance. Crawling round the village, praying at the five chapels. The next day the village was quiet, as if all were asleep. Fewer have fallen sick since. Mm -hmm. An edifying tale. Thanks. Oh, well, I that, will not play dice. that was worth sure, the, uh, I'm broke. that was definitely worth day, the uh, five orans. What can some, I do for you? Gave me some, uh, insight to the reverend. Now, I'm not really sure what to make of him. I mean, that all sounded like hogwash until at the end he said that there's been, um, you know, that things haven't been as bad since they did all this, uh, purification type stuff, if that's what you want to call it. Hmm. Huh. Well, I think I'm gonna. It's gonna be interesting to meet the Reverend. I'm really. At, at first, I thought he was okay. Now I'm not really sure what to think. I feel like maybe he's, maybe some kind of 
Hmm, maybe he's got some kind of power or something. That just... I don't know, I don't know. I'm just going to have to forget about it until I meet the Reverend, because I have no clue. All right, I'm looking for someone who stayed at this inn. I'm looking for someone who stayed at this inn. Look around the tables. But at night, guests retire to their rooms. Return tomorrow if you must talk to them. All right. I'll look around. Oh. What can I do for you? Okay, so maybe uh, the NPCs have their own schedules or something. I kind of thought so because some of those characters with the green names moved around on their own. Uh, so got a, got room. a room? Yes. For you, five orans. Oh, it's not too bad. I'll pass. I'll pass. I don't need it. I was just curious if you would. He I seems to have changed dice. his tone. Sure. He seems a bit nicer now. All right, Kalkstein. This absent-minded alchemist seems nice, but it is obvious that scientific theories are of greater concern to him than the more prosaic aspects of life. Hey, to each their own. Maybe he's a little eccentric, right? Okay, well, I think I'm finally done looking around here, so let me go outside. Gosh, I didn't mean to spend, like, how long did I spend in there? Like 45 minutes in the darn tavern? A lot of fun, though. So is it later in the day since I spent a lot of time in there, or, or what? Alright, um, I guess I'll just look around and keep talking to people. The Grand Master of the Order of the Flaming Rose himself passed through here. All right, all right. Visiman Herbalist. Greetings. Greetings. What a despicable place. I'm trapped here with my goods while my wife and children wait in the city. Why is that? Vizima's gates are closed due to the plague. The gods be my witness. Nothing ruins trade like an epidemic. Mm -hmm. I guess we just have to wait. Most of the diseased have died off, but the beast and bandits now spread their own terror. All we're missing are tax collectors. Can I ask you something? Yes? Okay, so it's hard to figure out who's going to actually talk to me about stuff and who's just got banter over their head. All right, so I can... Uh, I'm done looking at inventory uh, items. All right, so what's with the plague? What's with this plague? What of it? Tis some variety of the bubonic. To be safe, I avoid any who appear even slightly ill. Aren't you afraid? I'm immune to infectious diseases. My grandfather claimed the same, insisting all the while that his bubonic ulcers were merely boils. Mm. May the ground lie lightly upon him. Yes? Okay, so some of the banter in the tavern was talking about people with boils, so I think there's a lot of people in denial of what they have. They don't have boils, they have ulcers from this plague. So tell me about the beast. Tell me about the beast. I overheard it described as a phantom, appearing from nowhere, murdering those with a heavy conscience. Interesting. <laughs> uh... Royal officials would make a true feast for the beast. And other ghosts serve it, apparently in the form of untiring bloodhounds. Oh, I'll have to ask the locals. Yes? <laughs> uh, that uh, guy that got, during the little talk there, that guy that got up from the ground and started walking over was creeping me out. He's like, is that a zombie? Zombie! Hey, it's Witcher. I don't know what all kind of baddies are out there. All right, so bandits in the outskirts. Any bandits in the outskirts? Indeed. They call themselves the militia and extort bribes. Also, some sect from Vizima may have arrived here. Do these men wear the salamander sign? Never met them. But if they are a sect, the Reverend ought to know something. Mm. I'll ask him. Yes? Okay, so basically I just need to speak with this Reverend guy. All my questions will be answered. Alright, I guess I will look at what he has. Oh, field plants. A herbarium, valuable resource for anyone ready to recognize some of the plants growing in the areas outside of Vizima. Oh, yeah, I can't afford these, but... God, oh, look, you can get... Uh, Oh, they can be sold or given to a woman. Oh my, should I go get some daisies for Shawnee or some orchids? I don't know. I'll have to come back to this guy. He's got some interesting stuff. I may have heard of your brotherhood. Oh yeah, you think? No need to rush. All right, let me go ahead and grab... Uh, I guess I stole some food. Why, hello! Um, 
is this gonna make me meditate again? Is every yep, every fa every fireplace is a time to meditate. How do I? I don't know how to back out of this. Uh, the not at all, like zero. All right, okay, he just gets up if it's zero. Good, 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 good. All right, so I'll save more. Be afraid of fireplaces. You might start meditating. The Grand Master of the Order of the Flaming Rose himself passed through here. You don't say. Avoid beggars. They carry the plague. Uh-huh. All right, so what's this? Oh, I can't even go in here. Ah, bummer. Oh, a dwarf. Dwarven blacksmith. Damn, Look I'm at thirsty. that beard. Oh my gosh, that beard has to weigh as much as he does. Greetings. Greetings. Yes, I'm a dwarf. No, I don't support the Skyatel. Yes, I've paid both taxes and bribes many times. Today, in fact. Oh. Calm down, I just wanted to talk. I'll be calm in my grave. Optimistically, that won't be long now. Oh boy. I'll try not to miss the funeral. <laughs> Make sure and show up for the execution, too. They once herded me off to see a non-human get hanged. Let me tell you, laughed my head off. I gather they don't like non-humans around here. Neither here nor anywhere in the Northern Kingdoms. An official in Vizima recently won an innovation award. Invented a gallows especially designed for dwarves. Wow. What's so innovative about that? Nothing. But think of the savings. When you're producing them in the hundreds, all that extra wood can be used to make other goods. Toy swords, for instance. Can I ask you something? Yes. Holy moly, is this little guy bitter. But I guess he has every reason to be, so... I guess uh, bigotry is going to be a real issue in this game uh, as I go on. This is the first dwarf I've met, and oh boy, I hope they're all as spirited as him. So yeah, uh, why do the locals persecute non-humans? They, there's got to be a reason. Why do the locals persecute non-humans? Why do pricks go in cunts? Oh my god! It's the natural order of things. Humans have always hated dwarves and elves. Not for me to know why. I'm not sure I understand. Then ponder it on your own, or discuss it with that maggot brog. I don't talk to strangers about these things. Fine. Holy yes? moly, are you a spirited one? Okay, so who are the... Yeah. Who are the Scoyatel? Terrorists, or firebrands you'd call them. They're fighting for the rights of non-humans. Scoyatel is elven for squirrels, called that due to the squirrel tails that dangle from their caps. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, so maybe that was the squirrels. Okay, okay. So, uh, do you trade with them? Do you trade with them? Fuck off! <gasps> you won't provoke me! I was just oh. curious. Shove off, troublemaker! Oh, no! Army life's tough. Shove off, troublemaker! I wasn't trying to cause trouble, I was just curious. Oh, okay, I guess I've got to be really careful about my dialogue All choices. Gone Some mad. people are really, really sensitive because he had a, uh, a little interaction. I guess maybe I could buy weapons or get him to forge something for me, and now he hates Shove me. Shove off, troublemaker! Oh, that really sucks. I'm really upset. I didn't know that I would uh, really honk him off that bad. I'm actually really upset about that. Shove off, I, troublemaker! I don't know, maybe I need to give him some time to calm down and maybe he'll behave. <laughs> One never knows when the beast will appear. Okay, so we've established that. Monsters abound in the crypt. Alright, I've... yeah, we've established that. Alright. Yeah, okay, so I guess there's... Not really uh, as much going on here as I thought. Well, that's not fair. There was a lot going Army on in the um, in the inn. In fact, I spent most of my time in there. All right, guys. Well, I guess I'm gonna yeah. go ahead and be done with The Witcher now. I think I'm done exploring this part of the outskirts. It does look like there's a lot more to see beyond that gate, so I'm going to be exploring here for quite a while, because, yeah, like I said, I'm looking around. There's a lot of points of interest and a lot of uh, areas that I can't see, so I'll keep checking out the area next time, and uh, hopefully I can make it to the Reverend next time, too. 
Thank you guys so much for watching me clunk about in The Witcher, still kind of learning everything. Made a dwarf angry, gotta be careful with my dialogue in the future. Uh, really appreciate you guys for watching and helping me out. Uh, it's, I'm having a lot of fun out in the open like this, and I'm gonna continue exploring Army next time. Tough. Thank you again for watching guys, and bye for now.